and today we're going to be doing a kundalini yoga kind of quick blast 20 minute shake up for the entire body okay so this very quick short class is going to get you really set up for the rest of your day or if you're having it in the evening it's going to help you just kind of decompress and let go of the day welcome to my channel my name is joe and if it's your first time here then please subscribe so that you get all of the yoga goodness um, and like this video as well leave me a comment let me know anything you need to know and any links to get in touch with me or keep in touch are in the description box so we're going to begin today by tuning in so just take a moment to allow yourself to come into the space let your sit bones connect with whatever it is that you're sitting on and just close down your eyes and take some deep breaths in and out through your nose And let your spine be tall and the top of the head reaching up to the sky. And just follow your breath as it comes in through your nose and travels all the way down into your belly. And then follow it as it tracks back up and out of the body. And then bring your hands together at your heart center and let's rub the palms. And we're going to tune in with Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. So bring your hands together at your heart center and take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale. And then breathe in to chant. Ong. Namo Guru Dev. Om Namo Guru Dev. deeply and exhale okay holding on to your front ankle we're going to begin with some spinal flexes so you inhale and you can introduce the mantra sat nam as you breathe in, come forward, sat. As you breathe out, nam. Just mentally vibrate that mantra. Come to the center, sitting up tall, and take a deep breath in through your nose and out. Bring your hands onto your knees, keeping your spine beautifully tall. We're going to circle around.
and change direction. You can still mentally vibrate. Sat now. And slow it down, coming into the center, taking a deep breath in and out. And then you're just going to do some neck rolls, circling the head nice and gently. And the other way. And relax. Okay, coming on to all fours. Coming into cat and cow. So make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders knees are underneath your hips and we're just going to do a little bit of a sway so you're going to take your hips back to your feet and then you're going to come forward bringing the shoulders just slightly forward from the hands so you get a little stretch in the forearms And then come to a neutral spine and you're going to drop your tummy, lift your head and your tailbone as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, you're going to curve your spine up to the sky, looking underneath and tucking your chin. And again, breathing in, lifting up. Breathing out, looking underneath. Breathing in, lift. Breathing out, looking underneath. Breathing in, lift. And out. And then come to the neutral spine spot again. Curling your toes underneath and we're going to push up into downward dog or triangle pose as it's known in Kundalini. And just have a little stretch here. You can walk through the feet, so pushing the heels towards the floor and bending the other knee one at a time and then just come to be still, find that central point and just hold with some deep breathing. And then we're going to bring the feet towards the hands and come into a forward fold. And just let yourself hang, just let gravity do the work here. So don't worry about how low you go, whether you touch the floor or not, it doesn't matter. Just flip that tailbone up to the sky, let your head be heavy and take a breath. And slowly roll yourself all the way up tall. Okay, we're going to come into some miracle bends. So keeping the feet just underneath the hips, nice and tall. And you're going to breathe in as your hands come up over your head. And maybe if your lower back feels good for it, you're going to come into a little bit of a back bend. And then as you breathe out, bending all the way forwards. Breathing in, lift. And breathing out, down.
and then come all the way up to stand. And standing nice and tall, take your feet just slightly wider than hip width apart. And you're going to have your palms facing out and you're going to push out with your hand one at a time with a nice strong breath like And breathe in, bring your fists into the waist, pull your elbows back, hold your breath, project out from the heart, and release, relax, and bring your hands up so that your elbows are level with your shoulders, and you're going to twist left and right. Really good for activating and stimulating your digestive system, but also really grounding through the feet. Let the knees have a little bend in them. And slow it down. Facing me, taking a deep breath in, arms up. Breathing out, coming down through the center. And now take your feet even wider. We're going to come into some windmills. So, stretching out through the arms. You're going to breathe in as one hand comes to the floor, other hand to the sky, and look at that hand up in the sky. And then coming up and down. Breathe in as you come up, actually. Breathe out as you go down. And coming up. Stretch and relax. Just come into mountain pose. Feet a little apart, grounding down into the earth. And just let yourself stand tall, magnificent, and feel like the energy around you. Feel your aura. And then bring yourself down. We're going to come onto the back. So just plant the feet, hip width apart. Nice and close to your bottom. And let your shoulders just rest on the earth. We're going to do a little bit more heart opening. As you breathe in, raising the hips and pelvis nice and high into a half bridge. And breathing out lower. Breathing in, lift, and breathing out, down. One more, breathe in, lift. Hold. And lower. 
and then take the legs out straight and we're going to do a quick blast of stretch pose to really activate the solar plexus and the sacral chakra. So your toes are coming six inches off the floor, your head, neck and shoulders are off the floor and you're looking towards your toes. If this isn't good for you, just keep one foot down on the earth. And we're going to do breath of fire, a powerful breath in and out through your nose and pump your navel. If you're on the first few days of your period, then just do some long deep breathing. Let's go for it. Lifting the toes and the head and breath of fire. <laughs> Deep breath in and breathe out, lower yourself down and just rest in Shavasana. Let the body be heavy and relax. And wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Stretch your arms over your head and have a lovely stretch. And bend your knees, bring them into your chest. Little rock from side to side. And bring yourself back up into easy pose. And we're gonna tune out by chanting three long satnams. Breathe in deep and out. And breathe in to begin. So Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and I will see you all very soon. Love you lots.